We want to use the principle of mathematical induction to prove this um, statement. A n is equal to A1 times R raised to the power of n minus 1. And as you can recognize, this is a formula uh, of finding the nth term in a geometric sequence. All right? So uh, the principle of mathematical induction tells you that you, you're going to write out the statements P1, PK, and the PK plus 1 first. P1 basically means that the n value will be substituted with 1. Okay, so the P1 is going to be basically saying A1, right, because we're substituting the n value with 1. So A1 is equal to A1 times R1 minus 1. And we're not going to verify this yet. We just want to write it out first. PK statement says that AK, which is substitute n with k here, is equal to A1 times r k minus 1. Now pk plus 1 statement says that a to the power of k plus 1, so k plus 1 substitutes the n here, is equal to a1 times r and then k plus 1 minus 1. Okay, so what this basically says is that um, you can finish writing it and simplify it. So a k plus one basically should be equal to a one r to the k value. Okay, because plus one minus one is zero, so you're just left with the k in the power. So now the next step is to verify that the p one statement is true. So p one is true because a one is equal to a1 times r, 1 minus 1 is 0, right? Which basically means that the left side, a1, is equal to the right side, a1 times 1, right? Because r to the 0 power is 1. As long as the common ratio is not 0, raising it to the power of 0 gives you 1. So a1 times 1 is indeed a1, right? So this is... This is true. So P1 statement is true. That's good. The next step is to assume that the PK is true. So assume PK is true for arbitrary K value. Then, so basically, why are we assuming that PK is true? We can't prove that PK is true. We're going to assume it so that based on that assumption, we're going to uh, use pk plus 1 statement in the same way as the pk is written. So basically, if we assume pk is true, we can build out this in the same way as the pk statement is built out, the pk plus 1 statement, right? So assuming that, we can write the pk plus 1 statement as a k plus 1, and we can use the pk statement in the pk plus 1 statement. So basically, we're going to... Um, we're gonna. We know that. Um, we know that basically. Uh, uh, to to find the next term in the geometric sequence, you always have to multiply by the r, right? By the common ratio to find the next term uh, after the given term, right? So the given term is e a k, but the next term is going to be e a k plus one. So you must multiply on both sides the r value. Right, so we can write this as a k plus 1 is equal to a k multiplied by the r. Because this times the r gives you the next term in the geometric sequence, which is a k plus 1. Which is why we're taking a k and multiplying it by the r. So now what, what does that tell you? It tells you that we can rewrite the left side as a k plus 1 is equal to, and we're going to substitute a k with this, with this right side. So we're going to basically take this, we're going to substitute this AK because it's on the left side with this right side, right? So we're going to write it as A1 R to the K minus 1. And then be sure that you still remember to multiply it by R because there's, there's this R here on the right side, right? So times R. So what, what does that tell you? It tells you that a k plus 1 is equal to a1 times r. Now we can combine the r bases, basically 
by uh, adding all their powers. So k minus 1 plus 1, because r is to the first power there, right? So that tells you that you can simplify this. So that means a k plus 1 statement, a k plus 1, make this a little neater, a k plus 1 is equal to a 1. Now, minus 1 plus 1, you can let it go and just write it as r to the k. Okay? So this is what we just showed. We just showed that this is equal to this. a k plus 1 statement is equal to a1 r to the k. So based on that, this holds true. Okay, we just showed that this statement holds true on the assumption that pk statement is true. So as long as we show that the pk plus 1 statement holds true, that's it. We can show that the... Um, this is the induction step that we just completed. So we can basically show after that that the given statement, pn statement, is going to be true for all n. So basically we're proving this way the nth term formula for the geometric sequence. Right? So this holds true uh, since this is precisely good, precisely the statement for p k plus 1 uh, by the principle, I'm going to just say PMI, the principle of mathematical induction, uh, the PN statement is true for all n. And the pn statement, just in case, just to remind you, is this statement here. So we're going to just write it as a n is equal to a 1 times r to the n minus 1, right? This is the pn statement, is true for all n. So this completes the principle of mathematical induction proof. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.